Geographical location map of the Temple of Praya Vihir Prasat Praya Vihir is located in the north of Cambodia, in the natural village of Srihom, Cham Ksan District, Praya Vihir Province, and formerly located in Village 1, Kantau Commune, Chorm Ksan District, Praya Vihir Province 2. From Pre Chsan Prefecture, in Kampong Tom Province, the Temple of Praya Vihir is a mountain temple built on the top of a mountain temple in the Dangrek Mountains, 625 feet above sea level. The inscription of Praya Vihir called the Dangrek Dangrek is a wall, wall or wall. The Thais called the Dangrung Dangrek as the high mountain, while the Lao people called Mount Dangmung. Praya Vihir Temple is adjacent to the border of Sisaket Province of Thailand. Praya Vihir Temple is about 55 km from Chamka Kekhek 100 km from Praya Vihir Provincial Capital, 150 km from Siem Reap Town and about 400 km from Phnom Penh. The Dangrek Mountains are the boundaries of the international natural boundary between Cambodia and Thailand. Praya Vihir Temple is on the point of 14.24 to 18 of the east and 104 to 41.02 of the northern boundary. Praya Vihir Temple is located on the Praya Vihir Temple on an area of 800 by 400 square meters. The mountain temple of Praya Vihir is very strong from the Cambodian side and slopes from Thailand. Today, most merchants and people in the area are always on the hillside on the C1 road, because it is easy to travel. In addition, tourists can climb the temple by ancient stairs to the east of the mountain, which was built in the temple era, but was seriously damaged, but now it has been renovated and used as a stair instead. Repair of the National Authority for Praya Vihir in the pilgrimage to Praya Vihir, they can choose by two ways, from Siem Reap, on the way to Banti Srei to Anlong Vang to the roundabout. Continue about 20 km to the first stop, which is a ticket for the Praya Vihir temple. Depart from Phnom Penh to Kampong Tom. Then to Siem Reap Praya Vihir crossroads and then turn right through Sambur, Priai Kukur Sampov, Priai Kork Resort to the Phnom Kliang crossroads and turn left to the provincial town of Praya Vihir. Continue to the roundabout. We'll name the Temple of Praya Vihir or the Temple of Praya Vihir Temple in the Pantheon in the Thai language means the Temple of Phnom Srim Praya Vihir. The Pants means mountain. While Phra Viru is from Khmer that the temple is the temple of the temple. The inscription on the inscription of the temple of Praya Vihir, named after the penis, is here and after referred to as Shre Sakraavra Prasat, meaning the owner of the peak. Praya Vihir temple is a Hindu temple. History of the temple of Praya Vihir Inscription of the temple of Praya Vihir Archaeologists have often thought that the temple was almost exactly the same as the other structures in Sraha Viram. Reams Architecture Such as the Stung Samra Temple on Shangchet Mountain, the mountain of Sheng is the same temple as the temple. Wat Pho, Prasat Panam Sro, Prasat Chung Prey, Wat Trar Temple, etc., etc. The sculptures on the Roshan are similar to that of Banti Srei and Ko Kerr from the study. It is assumed that the temple was originally built in the early 9th century during the reign of Jayavarman II, 802-850. By the inscription K583 at Bapawan J during the reign of King Rajendravarman II, 844-968, Indravagant King of Jayavarman II went to Mount Penang Bofa, Wat Phu Pagoda, Champasak, Laos, and brought Penis Shaft of Varin Peninsulas to the peak, Sve Panha Penis, to place on the mountain of Praya Vihir in the name of Goddess Isakar Vorath, which means the god of the mountain. Sre Sre Voravara This is the name of the penis that was put in the temple of Praya Vihir in the ancient temple of Praya Vihir. Praya Vihir temple is dedicated to the goddess of Brahman. The Khmer king who builds the temple of Praya Vihir is Prince Indravan. 
son of Jayavarman II, 802 to 850, King Yasovarman I, 889 to 900, King Rajendravarman II, 944 to 968, Suryavarman I, 1002 to 1050, King Tithavarman I, 1060 to 1056, Hisaravarman II, 1050 to 1080, Jayavarman the Seventh. 1080 to 1109, Surya Vermin II, 1113 to 1150, the king who built the temple and renovated the outstanding temples such as King Yasovarman I built the Candle Temple, Surya Vermin I, he built a long building near the central tower, the surrounding wall and the third Gopura. According to the inscriptions of the temple, Surya Verman I organized a ceremony to invite the Brahwaraman who lives in Wat Fu, Laos to live with the goddess of celestial spirits to help protect and preserve the Khmer Empire and the people. Jaya Verman VII, he built two monuments or libraries and repaired parts of the temple. King Surya Verman II, he built a goddess with seven head nails, a street lion and several dragons along the stairs. He organized the inauguration of the temple and considered it a place of honor for the king. The 3D image of the second Gopura according to several historical documents. The temple was built of sandstone since the reign of Surya Verman I. Surya Verman I reigned in the first half of the 11th century. The castle on the highest point is 625 meters, French document, or 615 meters, English documentary. The story of the construction of the Temple of Praya Vihir is on the Khmer inscription at Prasat Bapuan in Siem Reap, K583. The inscription was named Harihahaha during the reign of Rajendra Verminai, 944 to 968 AD. Written in Sanskrit and in traditional Khmer, it has been said that a prince, named Emperor, had taken a penis called Srasrahiravara who was living here and here is the temple of Praya Vihir. You are mighty. He had a Mahjong war with the Cham and captured the king of Cham. For this inscription, historian scholars think that there are no other inscriptions on warfare to the king of Cham, but the king he captured may not have been a Cham king over the entire Cham. Perhaps a small king who is in control of a kingdom that borders Cambodia. Praya Vihir Temple was handed over to the Kingdom of Thailand in 1954 and handed over to the Kingdom of Cambodia by the judgment of June 15, 1962, at the International Court of Justice in The Hague, the Netherlands. Age of construction sample The construction of the Temple of Praya Vihir has three main stages which historians suspect is that during the reign of Emperor Martyrs was probably a wooden house but in the reign of King Surya Verman I was clearing mountain rocks as a ladders, climbing up the mountain and taking mountain rock to the construction of temples in the territory of the Temple of Praya Vihir. Then, in the reign of Surya Verman II, then, the temple was built in the mid-12th century. Surya Verman II, he built the Angkor Archaeological Park in present-day Siem Reap. The north-facing Praya Vihir temple is built on the Dangrek Mountains. A natural mountain on the slopes of the south to the Temple of Praya Vihir, with two ancient staircases the north slopes. The five Cobra Five Omnibus staircases and the gateway and entrance and another stairway from the east, ancient stairs. From Gopura 5 to Gopura 4 and Gopura to Gopura 3, there are crocodile, base, sandstone on both sides of the road. On the other side, from Gopura to Gopura, the second is the seamless seat on the seven-headed dragon, which opens on both sides. On the way to the entrance between the fifth and the fourth Gopura, there's a large ancient water pond, and on the east side of the road between Gopura and Gopura, there's also a small ancient pond. In the northeast part of Gopura, there's a single temple built of sandstone. In the middle of Gopura 2 in Gopura I, there's a reversed, one to east, west, west-facing temple that French researchers find to be a library or a library or a library. The central tower or the main tower has the most important role as a holy place of worship for the sanctity of the female penis. The central tower with a wall as a drum, Radhanathi, is surrounded by a sandstone roof. 
the strikers can walk from inside except the corner of the northeast and northwestern border, which cannot be crossed. The southern slabs are walled by close-knit bricks, using the bricks of the old temples to use. Western towers and east rails have a door for entering. Of the east and west of the tower of the central tower, there are other constructions, which are the walls for putting the material to the temples. Continuing from the south wing of the central tower to the end of the mountain, the southernmost end is a rocky pavement, which is left to the temple. At the far end is Teddy Drap. East classical stairs from the slopes of the highway to the temple, on top of the highest peak, he has to climb up stairs, a radius of 804 meters, before ascending to the plateau. The temples on the top of the mountain must pass through the gate 5. The sanctuary on the top of the mountain is 525 meters high. The main castle, 35 meters by 45 meters is believed to be the goddess of the goddess Isikari Vorica. First, from the foot of the mountain is 54 meters long, they are all 159 stairs. We climb up a steep slope of 25 meters to the gate of Gobi 5. North stairs after arriving at the gate of the 5th Gapura, he has to travel more than 244 meters on the sidewalk. On the side of the road, they were thrown on the sidewalk and entered the gate of Gapura IV. At the gate of the Gapura, there's a sculpture depicting mythology, churning the sea. Milk is the story of the creation of beasts. And below it is a statue of Vishnu. When climbing the stairs to the left, there is an ancient pond. The pond is of great significance because when the king of Thailand today, Phan Adil Yadav, crowned the throne on June 9, 1946 Thailand came to fetch water from the pagoda to celebrate the royal wedding. Thai monarch at Bangkok, Thailand, and up to 150 meters in the same way. On the left-hand side, a small 150-meter-high temples have come to the gate of Gapura III with inscriptions about the construction of the temple during the reign of King Suryavarman I. Probably the place where you go to the wards to give it a decree, let the Dhamma learn this place from the gate of Gapura 3. Between the gate of Gapura 3 and the gate of Gapura, there is a 40-meter walk. This 40-meter high walk is made up of dolphins, such as a racket, and throws in the streets. We walked along the path of the dragon came to the gate of Gapura 2. At the gate of the second Gapura, the temple faces to the north. In the west, or on the right, there is no building on the left. This building is perhaps left for the sages to be large or restrictive here. I am proud to have been born in Khmer. The distance from the gate of Gapura to the gate of the first Gapura is about 40 to 50 meters. They have to cross the gate of the second Gapura to the latest towers on the top of the mountain. It is located at the highest peak, 525 meters high. This place is a place where perhaps the god of the temple is deemed to be the deity of Praya Vihir. If we only think of the last major temple, it is 35 meters by 45 meters. And if we go to the back of the temple because at the end of the mountain, the place that has already expired. So, in the end, it may have left the penis goddess Isikuri Vara. Until this year. 2008 has been lost, much has been broken, what's left today, we have looked from the most fascinating artifacts because it is very clean, doing very well. In international events the third gopher escapes from the air, for the temple of prey of Ihir. A map called commissioned a delimitation entre l'Indo China Le Siam was published in Paris and presented to the government of Siam and offered to all members from the country. Siamese which was part of the Joint Committee on the Delimitation of Borders in 1908. In this map, the border line along the north side of the temple is about 500 meters. The Temple of Praya Vihir is clearly within the territory of Cambodia, and then the Siam never took up the issue of the Temple of Praya Vihir. In 1925 and 1926, France and Siam set up their territories, and there was no question of the Dangrek Mountains. Unfortunately, at least 30 years after the last retreat of Siam, the Temple of Praya Vihir as well as our